2020 Mercedes GLE 450, Off-Road 2020 Mercedes GLE 454 Matic SUV, GLE 450 improves in nearly every way. Welcome to our car blog, this time we will be share information about the latest cars is coming from Lincoln brand. The title of the article we take is 2020 Mercedes GLE 450, Off-Road 2020 Mercedes GLE 454 Matic SUV, GLE 450 improves in nearly every way. We will be try discuss details about this car, ranging from, reviews, concept, redesign, rumors, exterior, interior, specs, changes, engine, colors, pictures, release date and also prices. Congratulations to read and we hope you enjoy it and then we'll come back again here. 2020 Mercedes GLE 450, Off-Road 2020 Mercedes GLE 454 Matic SUV, GLE 450 improves in nearly every way, the 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLE 450 improves in nearly every way. A new high-tech engine and luxurious trappings make a much better mid-size Mercedes SUV. Within the recent updates to Mercedes-Benz score lineup, the freshening of the 2020 GLE class is a big deal. Introduced as the M-Class in 1998 and renamed GLE in 2015, the mid-size SUV has long been a key part of the Mercedes range. Although it hasn't reached the iconic status of the also new G-Class, the significance of the GLE's updates are undeniable and mostly satisfying. The 2020 GLE comes standard with a 255 HP turbocharged 2.0 liter inline 4 denoted by a GLE 350 badge on its liftgate. But the turbocharged 3.0 liter inline 6 in our GLE 450 test car is a juicier cut. The silky smooth engine and its 48 volt hybrid electrical system are shared with the Mercedes Benz CLS 450 and will soon spread to other Benz models. Here it develops 362 horsepower, routed through a 9 speed automatic transmission and standard all wheel drive. Floats like a ship in rough water. The turbo 6 power was more than adequate for our test vehicle's hefty 5,151 pounds, and highway merging and passing maneuvers were never anxiety inducing. Matt the accelerator and the GLE 450 moves off with little hesitation and an authoritative soundtrack, particularly in the Sport and Sport Plus driving modes, along with the default comfort setting, there are also eco and individual modes. We recorded acceleration times that were slightly quicker than those of the outgoing 6-cylinder GLE 400, but the improvement is incremental. The GLE 450 managed a 5.3 second 0 to 60 mph run, which puts it on pace with the Audi Q8 but 0.4 second behind the 6-cylinder BMW X5. The Benz nearly catches up with the quicker Bimmer in the quarter mile, however, posting a 13.9 second pass at 100 miles per hour. On the road, the GLE 450 rides less stiffly than the Audi or the BMW, yet with less agility and composure. Our test car came with one of the two different optional air suspension systems, but it lacked the astute body control over road undulations and in brisk cornering maneuvers that we expected, even considering it's an off-road capable SUV. The standard suspension features conventional steel coil springs, but we have yet to experience that setup. The feeling of excessive suspension compliance was borne out on the skid pad, where the GLE 450 delivered a so-so 0.82g of grip versus the BMW's 89 centimos. Despite the suspension's extra pliancy, the GLE's ride over pockmarked roads was often harsh on our test car's optional 20-inch wheels, we have yet to drive a version on the standard 19-inchers. Stomping on the Benz's reassuringly firm brake pedal results in a class competitive 175 foot stop from 70 miles per hour, although the aggressive initial bite from the calipers can be difficult to modulate in stop and go traffic. Looks environs. The new GLE class's cabin pushes Benz's interior design further along while still holding true to the rest of the lineup. Our GLE 450 formatic test vehicle was loaded with options $18,810 worth, to be exact and included an in-cabin fragrance diffuser, four-zone automatic climate control, heated front and rear seats, soft closed doors, a huge head-up display, and a 64-color ambient lighting system that flashes the integrated lighting strips either blue or red when adjusting the temperature of the climate control. Our example came equipped with the $1,850 premium package, which adds the ambient lighting system, an inductive charging pad for devices, satellite radio, a 115-volt power outlet, and a 13-speaker Burmester audio system. The upgraded stereo provides rich, crisp sound, but its lower front speakers sent unseemly vibrations into the driver's side footwell, even after we adjusted the bass and switched to our local NPR station for the latest episode of This American Life. The faux leather and micro suede seat upholstery in our test vehicle looked attractive, but at an $80,955 as tested price, we'd have appreciated genuine materials. Passenger space is plentiful in both the front and back seats, Mercedes is now offering an optional third row of seats in the GLE class, but our test vehicle wasn't fitted with the pop-up chairs. Two widescreen 12.3-inch displays float in front of the dashboard as they do in other contemporary Benz S and Project Mercedes-Benz new MBUX infotainment system that debuted in the entry-level A class last year. The new interface isn't as logically laid out as the previous generation's common infotainment system and requires some initial familiarization. But MBUX can be controlled via touchscreen, voice, or a console-mounted touchpad, the latter of which is far superior to the nominally similar setup in some Lexus models. The system's voice commands are handy in their responsiveness to simple commands, and it responds much like Apple Siri or Amazon's Alexa, but we can't help feeling a little silly when summoning the system's attention with the Hey, Mercedes command prompt. Minor quibbles. The GLE's driving position should be agreeable to a wide variety of drivers, 
but some may notice that the tall grab handles on either side of the center console partly obscure the view of buttons and controls for the infotainment system. Likewise, some of our editors complained that the GLE's chunky steering wheel blocked crucial parts of the digital gauge display. We find it surprising that Mercedes has overlooked these small details, given the almost perfect cabins of some of its car models, such as the E-Class and S-Class. Despite its few shortcomings, the GLE class impresses with its redesign, and its cabin is far better than the model it replaces. The GLE 450's fuel economy 17 mpg overall and 23 mpg on our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy loop is satisfactory and falls in line with its rivals, its performance is ample, and it offers all the whiz-bang gadgetry we expect from a modern luxury car. All of these traits are sure to keep it in the crosshairs of the moneyed consumers whom Mercedes-Benz can't afford to miss. Specifications 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLE 454 Matic Vehicle Type Front Engine all-wheel drive, 5-passenger, 4-door hatchback. Price as tested, $80,955, base price, $61,150. Engine type, turbocharged and intercooled DOHC 24-valve 3.0-liter inline 6, 362 HP, 369 LBFT and AC motor, 21 HP, 184 LBFT, combined system, 362 HP, 369 LBFT, 0.9 kWh lithium-ion battery. Transmission. 9-speed automatic with manual shifting mode. Chassis. Suspension, F slash R multi-link slash multi-link. Brakes, F slash R 14.8 invented disc slash 13.6 invented disc. Tires, Cooper Discoverer SRX LE, 275 slash 50 R 2109 HM and SMO. Dimensions. Wheelbase, 117.9 in. Length, 194.3 in. Width, 76.7 in. Height, 70.7 in. Passenger volume, 111, CU Fort. Cargo volume, 33, CU Fort. Curb weight, 5,151 pounds. C slash D. Test results. 0 to 60 miles per hour, 5.3 SEC. 0 to 100 miles per hour, 13.9 SEC. 0 to 120 miles per hour, 21.7 SEC. Rolling start, 5 to 60 miles per hour, 6.0 SEC. Top gear, 30 to 50 miles per hour. 3.2 SEC. Top gear, 50 to 70 miles per hour, 4.4 SEC. Standing 1 fourth mile, 13.9 SEC at 100 miles per hour. Top speed, governor limited 129 miles per hour. Braking. 70 to 0 miles per hour, 175 feet. Road holding, 300 foot DS skid pad asterisk, 0.82 G. Asterisk stability control inhibited. C slash D. Fuel economy. Observed, 17 mpg. 75 miles per hour highway driving, 23 mpg. Highway range, 510 miles. EPA fuel economy. Combined slash city slash highway, 21 slash 19 slash 24 mpg. Thanks.